Darrell from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Asia. This is our morning update, guys, here from Vietnam. Good morning to, good evening to everybody in America. Good afternoon, good morning to all my friends in Europe and all my brothers and sisters in Asia. Wakey, wakey, guys, time to get up and start a new day, even though we're pretty much still stuck at home here in uh, Asia. Well, I, I can't speak for the rest of Asia, but definitely in Vietnam, we're still stuck. I think this is the 51st day uh, being stuck at home. So, guys, I just want to say God bless each and every one of you. It's great to be part of this community. And I'm back. Sorry, yesterday uh, I wasn't feeling so good, so there was less energy. Had kind of a stomach bug or something, so I'm feeling a lot better now. So, I'm back on track. So, I'm all excited. Guys, we're seeing lots of lots of really great stuff happening. We saw uh, Bitcoin go over $51,000. We're going to talk about that. We're down a little bit uh, now. We saw Ethereum go over $4,000. We're seeing Solana still on fire. We're seeing a lot of the old coins popping off right now. But, you know, we're seeing that Dogecoin is just kind of uh, range bound right now and it's uh, really having a hard time getting itself out of uh, 30 cents. So this is an emergency video. I'm going to tell you that there's a huge move, a huge massive pattern forming and this is really good for Dogecoin and you know often when Dogecoin does this kind of thing we really see that uh, Dogecoin often often lags behind the rest of the market and then suddenly Dogecoin would just snap and take off. So we're seeing a really bullish pattern on the one week chart and on the one day chart. We're going to talk about that and uh, so without further delay let's let's jump into it guys let's jump into it right now and uh, let's do it so remember none of this is financial advice this is only for educational purposes only and remember always always everybody out there please do your own risk management it's so important that you know it's your money it's not my money you guys have to understand what you're investing in and what are the ramifications and remember it's your money so invest wisely do the research do your own risk management and remember smash the likes smash the likes right now subscribe 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 webby and don't forget you know you guys go please check out the merch we got tons of merch we got t-shirts hoodies and all sorts of stuff so, so don't forget to do that guys go check out the merch and definitely go back and watch some of the other videos if you missed it so without further delay let's just uh, jump into this article right here so bitcoin is laying in wait so this is kind of we're going to really do a roundup of what's been going on all week so you know we saw bitcoin briefly actually pass 51,000. so that's really good news and on Monday, we saw that, uh, you know, we recorded over 8 billion in weekly transaction volume. So that was really good. We're also seeing that the daily transactions for Bitcoin are now over 1 million addresses. So this is really good. And this last time this happened, this signal, something really bullish. Other news that we had last week is on Tuesday, we had the El Salvador Democratic Party approved the country's $150 million Bitcoin. Bitcoin trust and that was to roll out the uh, Shervo wallet and the 200 ATMs across the country right so that was really good also on Tuesday we saw G uh, digital Genesis uh, was offered an option from Canada to purchase 200,000 mining rigs so that's really good looks like they're still building out their uh, mining facilities and Genesis currently holds 2.4 percent of the total uh, Bitcoin hash rate so that's really good and then on Wednesday we saw uh, 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 President Alexander uh, Losensko, who or who in in basically he told his countries that you know they have uh, excessive uh, electricity and that maybe they want to start uh, Bitcoin mining. And then on Wednesday we saw that uh, leading Bitcoin rewards app Fold announced that it has partnered with Open Node to fully operate to fully operate on the Lightning Network by 2022. Then on Wednesday, we had Gary Gensler. He had gone to the, uh, he was speaking at the European Parliament and he was noting that uh, how the network operates 24 seven. So the Bitcoin network crypto is 24 seven. It's multi-border, it crosses the border. He said that the innovation has been and will continue to be a catalyst for change in the fields of finance and money. And I think that transformation transformation we're living through right now could be every bit as interesting in the 1990s. So that's really good. Rounding off Wednesday's bit busy bit Bitcoin day, we had some leaks were shared of Twitter beta testing of uh, you know, tipping app. So we saw that uh, Jack Dorsey of Twitter said that they're going to roll out a Bitcoin tipping service on uh, Twitter. So that allow people who are following you to actually 
uh, tip you with uh, with Bitcoin and other uh, cryptocurrencies. So that's really good. And then uh, Vast Bank became the first chartered bank in the U.S. to offer Bitcoin services. So customers will be able to buy and sell Bitcoin directly from the FDIC insured checking account. That's pretty good, guys. I mean, in in uh, Europe we have uh, Revolut. They're already doing that, but it's really good that we're seeing uh, America coming out as well. Also on Thursday, Franklin Templeton Investment Manager with over 1.5 trillion assets under management and operating in 34 countries across the globe, published a jobs list for LinkedIn looking for research analyst cryptocurrency. Bullish news, guys. So we're seeing we're seeing a lot of bullish news out there. So this is a really good sign. And uh, you know we're seeing that the crypto markets are absolutely on fire now. And this is really good. And then some Dogecoin news. We had uh, Mark Cuban, Dallas Mavericks, offers cashback rewards for Dogecoin purchases. So basically, if you're a, a Dallas Mavs fan and you spend $150 worth of uh, Dogecoin, uh, you're going to get a $25 e-gift card. So it's really good that uh, you know you know Mark Cuban. He's a he's a He's a Dogecoin maximalist. He loves the Doge. And, uh, you know, what he's doing, not only is Mark Cuban tweeting about it, you know, Elon Musk, he tweets, but he's actually doing something about it. He's actually allowing people to purchase retail items and give you a cashback $25 e-gift card. So thanks, Mark. If you're listening to this, thank you, brother. The Doge community is very supportive. And one thing I like about the Doge community, one of the mantras of Doge is do good do good every day, right? Do only good every day. So, you know, and I really believe that, you know, if, if we were if we were to kind of highlight, you know, what would be the most Christian uh, uh, cryptocurrency out there, I, I think it's Dogecoin, right? Dogecoin is, uh, you know, very, very Christianly because it, you know, do only good every day, guys. So that's what Doge is all about. And remember, Doge is not only a cryptocurrency, it's also a people. It brings the people together. It unites us in love and spread the good vibe. This, oh, you spread the good vibe, guys. And, you know, the other good thing about uh, uh, a Dogecoin is we now have the transaction fees are lower. We have um, the transaction speed is much higher. And the other thing is it's a coin that because the fees are so low, you know, similar like Solana fees are super low, right? So and the speed is fast. We're going to see much more uh, adaptation. And Dogecoin is the gateway crypto that allows newbies, people that have just been in the space, to in fact get immersed in the crypto world that allows them to think, oh, this is, Doge is good. It's not so difficult. And then they broaden the horizons and get into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and you know, the top the top projects. So that's another good uh, positive sign for Dogecoin. So that's really good that Dogecoin is the gateway crypto for the masses. It's the people's currency. And we're gonna see more and more uh, ad adaptation. And we see that it's over. Right now, the, the total number of retailers and shops accepting is more than 1,700 right now. So it's really good news. So some other news right now is if you look at it, let's just do a quick price analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and let's just dive into it really quick. So we can see right now that, um, you know, these are the prices right now. And uh, remember, JP Morgan, Alice warned clients that an altcoin rally, a non-tangible tokens is getting frothy and foamy. So it looks like JP Morgan is stealing uh, some of uh, the OG's uh, terminology. So these markets are very frothy. These markets are foamy. And we're going to see the old coins absolutely explode, guys. And we're going to see them explode like crazy, like crazy, like crazy. So if we take a look at the Bitcoin dominance right now, just to prove my point. So we've seen the Bitcoin dominance is like 40 40.55% and the currency the total market overview right now is 2.31 trillion and the volumes are 93.98 billion guys so this is good news guys nothing to be it's nothing not too shabby right so you know let's just take a jump into bitcoin so where do we see bitcoin if buyers can sustain uh, above 50,000 the BTC USD pair could rally to 60,000 i've been saying this all along that you know we need to stay above 50,000 and right now we're seeing that uh, bitcoin bitcoin right now is um, is trading exactly it's just just gingerly above 50,000 and uh, you know we need to stay above there you know yesterday we did hit a high of uh, we did hit a high yesterday of 51,414 so we've given back some of that territory right now and we're we're painting a, a red candle for Bitcoin, but uh, we really need to stay above uh, 50,000. And we definitely, if we can do that for a couple days consistently, I mean, right now we're, we're you know, in, in in the territory of dropping below hopefully we don't drop below but if we can stay above 51,000 then that's going to set us up for our $60,000 target that's sure to be incoming very soon guys 
and sixty thousand dollars not too far away it's right here guys so you know we're only we're about 10k away so you know in terms of bitcoin landness 10k is 10k is really not much guys so let's take a look at ethereum you know ethereum ethereum is also on fire ethereum uh picked up momentum and hit four thousand dollars it was up to four thousand uh, dollars yesterday and right now we've once again we've uh, dropped below four thousand and right now ethereum is trading at uh, three thousand nine hundred forty one at time of recording remember these these videos are a little bit delayed from the time i record them and get them up uh, on uh, youtube if there's a little bit of a delay because you know internet in vietnam is not lightning fast so there can be anywhere from between you know 20 minute to uh, 45 minute an hour delay depending on the internet gods here in vietnam if they bless us and give us speedy internet it, it, it fluctuates so right now as i said uh, uh ethereum is at three thousand nine hundred and thirty nine dollars so it's just gingerly below the four thousand dollar threshold but we're going to get there guys we're going to get there so what do we need we really need uh, you know the upsloping 20-day moving average here uh ema at 3304 and the rsi is overbought right now so it suggests that bulls are still bulls are still in control and if buyers push the price above 4372 then the ethereum pair will start its journey to 5000 so we have some resistance at 4372 so we really need to pa push past that on the uh, chart so if you look at 3000 um let me go back let me go back let me go so if we at 4372 so if we look at the chart right now for Ethereum. So we got 4,372, which is around about this area right here, right there. So we need to, we need to kind of blow past that. Uh, we need to really blow past that. And if we can do that, we, if we can do that, then that's going to, then that's going to be really bullish for us. And we're going to uh, absolutely get past that. I believe we're going to get past that. What do you guys think? So I think what's going to happen is definitely going to happen, guys. So I wouldn't panic too much about it. And yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So getting back to that article, uh, let's take a look at uh, ADA in the house. ADA, once again, it needs to break above 310. And ADA is right now uh, having some issues doing that. So right now it's at uh, two dollars and ninety three cents, and it's kind of flatline from where it was, uh, where it's been for yesterday and today. It's going down a little bit. It's down just slightly, but uh, from that perspective, we really need uh, we need uh, we need it to a break and close above three hundred ten. Will signal resumption of the uptrend, and we could see it rally to three hundred fifty. The, the twenty day EMA favors two hundred fifty eight. So the EMA is saying two hundred dollars and fifty eight, but the but the bulls favors the bulls but the negative diversions on the rsa indicates bullish momentum by by is maybe weakening so where the bulls are still in control but we could see that for ada we could break down and we could go as low as uh we could go as low as two dollars and 58 cents so we could see ourselves going as low as two dollars and 58 cents and that is right uh, around about there so you know from that perspective we really need to Get ourselves above that right now so there's this is where we have this is where we could break down to i mean right now it's support so i'll take turn turn that uh, green green support but uh if we uh, get rejected and we cannot close above two three dollars and ten cents we could see ourselves going down to three dollars and uh two dollars and fifty eight cents we don't want that to happen one eighty eight to continue climbing bnb as well uh it's being traded between 20 day moving out it's being traded between 456 and they have overhead we have overhead resistance at 518 so but you know we really need to get back up over 500 dollars and that's going to be very positive so from that perspective we can see that bnb right now is trading at 489 so we really need bnb to get over 500 dollars to be really positive and that will signal the next leg up to 518 so hopefully we can get there xrp i don't talk about xrp Solana, you guys know, bears are attempting to stall Solana uptrend at, at 130, but the bulls were in no mood to relent. The buyers did not allow the price to break below the psychological 100 bucks. And, you know, we're seeing that, you know, the price turns down from the current level or 150. So the first support level is at the 38 uh, Fibonacci. So I really believe that if you look at Solana's price right now, uh solana is still on fire it's still on going up and you know we have to hit this uh we have this 200 mark here and right now this was resistance here 
So we can turn that green because this now becomes support. And right now Solana is trading at $148. So our next level of uh, resistance is around, is around, is around uh, $150. So we're getting gingerly close to that. So I'm not even gonna mark a line there. I believe that we're gonna see $200 incoming. I think we're still on a very huge momentous run for Solana. So I really wouldn't uh, worry about that. And then for our Doge in the house, right now we can see that the Doge pair has bounced off the 20 day moving average and the bulls have pushed the price uh, above the wedge. So we can see that right here on the one day here for Doge. So we have this we have this wedge here, the bulls pushed it back yesterday. And right now we're actually, we're just at the wedge here. This is our 20 day uh, EMA and we're still above that. So that's really bullish guys. So we're, you can see this descending wedge that's going all the way down here. And this is a bullish pattern. And normally when you have a descending wedge uh, or descending triangle, this often indicates uh, a very bullish pattern. We should break out pretty soon. And typically the breakout should be from the, from the top to the bottom here. So that should take us up to around about the, you know, 30, 35, 36 cent, but it just depends on when we break up, but we're still following my green trend line. So I made this green trend line uh, a couple days ago and we're still following this green trend line. And this green trend line is the path to $1, the path to $1 guys. So, you know, I'm still seeing that we're, we're really setting up nice for a huge breakout. And what, and I often said that Dogecoin often lags behind the market, but when it explodes, it will outperform the market. That's that's definitely going to happen guys so uh so it's it's above the 20-day moving average and if the buyers sustain a price above uh 31 cents the pair could rally to 35 so right now if we look at the chart we're trading the doge is trading right now at 29.4 so we really need to stay above 31 cents uh and if if that happens then we can be retesting our 35 cent level that we saw a couple weeks ago and then we have this pink box here so we need to break out past my purple trend line and uh, we also need to break up break above the pink box as well so 31 cents is a key level for us to uh, stay above it's really key guys we really need to stay above that and if the price turns down from 30 if the price turns down from 35 cents a pair again uh, again could drop to the 20 day EMA and a, a strong rebound off will suggest that sentiment is positive uh, to break out and close 35 a clear path to 45 so if we can break out past 35 definitely we can 35 we definitely can see 45 cents coming in so you know this is a this is a this is a huge support line here but you know we really need to stay above the 27 the 27 8 zone because if we break past down below this 28 uh, 28 7 zone then we could see ourselves actually falling along this support line here and worst case scenario we could be going down to 20 23 cents uh in the in the long term so that's about it for for doge now let's just take a look at the weekly pattern there's also something there's also something happening on the weekly pattern that you guys need to take a look at it's also very bullish let's just take a look at that let me just refresh refresh let me get my face out of there so you can see here that if you look at the weekly pattern here there is let me zoom that up for you guys can see that let me get that out of there so let me zoom that up for you let me zoom it zoom it zoom it zoom it so you guys can see it clear so on the weekly pattern i mean i i mean i tend to call this some bit some people may not agree but this seems to be like a cup and handle pattern here and also on the weekly we're seeing a very a very a bearish pattern which is a cup and handle pattern and you know guys can see that way i have my yellow trend green trend line here and we're still we're still forming and still following the yellow trend line guys so that's really good news really bullish news so we see some bullish patterns both on the uh, weekly and back on the one day chart so this is really good news guys uh, so you guys should not be not you guys should not be panicking too much right now so things are looking pretty peachy keen i mean the the main thing with dogecoin is really the timing the timing of this breakout when are we fundamentally going to see this breakout so as long as we can stay above this uh you know right right here is the uh, 20 day uh, moving average we're above it if we can stay above that we should be just fine yeah i know you guys are getting a little bit tired and you're feeling that a oh, doge coming but doge does this doge often goes up and then it just kind of languishes around and this and that and we're and doge is really right now really really dependent uh upon the bitcoin bitcoin breakout 
so bitcoin really needs to break out guys and bitcoin is really really not doing that right now as you guys can see we have this descending wedge here we broke out of it for bitcoin we went up to 51,000. we've got rejected and uh, right now we're just almost at the fifty thousand dollar level that's why it's in white so yeah it can be boring but we really need uh dogecoin to break out guys so some other some other news that's happening sec re is reporting investigating decentralized exchange news. So i think this is a big story uh but uh, so, you know gary gensler is on on the rampage we love gary gary gensler in the house uh so they're looking at uh, they're looking at uniswap right now and uh because you know even though uh, Uniswap is supposed to be decentralized. It's actually not because it's actually a corporation and uh, it actually is centralized. So I think Gary is actually right in this case to be looking at Uniswap. So it's really not truly a decentralized uh, platform. You know, there's other, there's other, uh, there's other platforms like SushiSwap and, you know, that's also another good platform and that is truly decentralized. So with that being said, guys, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the markets. So right now, uh, le right now you can, let me just give this a minty refresh. And while we're doing that, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the fear and greed index. Let me just refresh that too. The fear and greed index. So the fear and greed index has dropped down a little bit. Uh, I was 74 yesterday, it's dropped down 70. So the sentiment has gone down a little bit. And that's because, that's probably because Bitcoin hit 51 and then dropped down below 50. So that's kind of put the kibosh, the kibosh on the sentiment a little bit. Eh, it's not nothing, no big deal. It's not a big deal, guys. I wouldn't worry about it. So right now uh, on the, on the CoinWatch, this is the CoinWatch is an aggregate of all exchanges, guys. So don't panic. Don't beat me up. Remember, different exchanges have different uh, uh, spot prices for Bitcoin. So right now, we're seeing that Bitcoin is trading at 49,676. We did get a high yesterday at 51,000. And right now, uh, we're up 2.44%. Uh, Ethereum in the house is at 3,926. We were above 4,000 yesterday, but we've come down a little bit. and we're, But we're still up 5.35% in the last 24 hours. ADA is up just over half percent. That's $2.94. And BNB is at 5 588 and 73 cents and we need to get ourselves past for 500 dollars to see a breakout to the upside we also see, need to see ada go above 310 to also signal a breakout to the upside we also need to see ethereum above 4000 to signal a breakout to the upside and we definitely need to see uh btc above 51000 to signal a breakout to the upside. So everything's kind of come down a little bit from where yesterday. I think there was, I think there was a lot of selling yesterday when we saw Bitcoin go to 51 and Ethereum over for us. There was some selling pressure, I'm sure of it. So uh, Solana as well is at $147. It's still on a rocket ride. It's up uh, almost 11%, guys. So that's great. And it's up a whopping 313%. 313%, can you believe it in 30 days? OMG. And uh, right now, Doge is up 1.5%. That's really good. But like I said, there's key levels. We need to see uh, Dogecoin break above 31 cents if we're going to have a chance to recover a uh, 35 cent level. And it's going to happen, you happen, guys. So just be patient. Don't lose faith. Diamond hands. Uh, Uniswap, I think Uniswap probably be going, because of this Gary Gensler SEC investigation, you're probably going to see Uni going down a lot. But, you know, you can, guys, check out Sushi. I think Sushi's got some, I think Sushi's still got some gas in tank. You know, Vet is good. Uh, Matic is good. We have that in our portfolio, guys. So things are looking peachy keen. Let's take a look at the OG portfolio in the house. Let me just give this a refresh. Hopefully it doesn't uh, doesn't crash on us. Sometimes it does that because the internet's slow. Let's turn on the pie chart. So right now, guys, remember this is the uh, the channel portfolio. We made this online. We made this live on a live stream on July second, and. Uh, that puts us about 60 days ago that we made this thing and we're we're doing pretty good remember this is not financial advice i'm not a fi licensed financial advisor this is only for educational purposes if you do choose to use any part of this you do it at your solely your risk. so we're still up 62 percent in uh, 60 days so that's not bad guys and uh, our total profit right now is 3132 and our total balance is 8131 dollars so i'm looking pretty pretty peachy keen i'm so happy about that so with that being said guys don't forget to follow me on Twitter. We got 2,000, 2,037 followers. Follow me on Twitter. If you're missing any of the YouTube notifications, I will also uh, post the links uh, on Twitter. So you will get all of the 
latest and greatest uh, videos coming out because they're time sensitive right so with that being said smash the likes subscribe me me do it right now and turn on the bell notification that way you get uh, updated right away with these time sensitive time sensitive uh videos and don't forget to go to each and all don't get check don't forget to check out my talk, 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 talk. don't forget to check out my linky winkies and remember and all this is financial advice again go to the channel description and i have all the links that you could imagine and go to zen music attic if you're getting stressed out guys go to zen music attic we've got tons of stuff out there you're gonna love it i love it go to zen music addict you're gonna like it uh Lots of really good stuff there, guys. And uh, some other links that you want to take note of, uh, become a Patreon member. Uh, buy the channel of coffee, guys. Go down there at uh, ko-fi.com, Crypto Squad, buy the channel of coffee. Check out the merch. Guys, check out the NFT collection. We've got tons of NFTs. Go right now and check out the NFT collections. Pick something up for yourself. You may like it. I like it. Check out the NFTs. Uh, because they're they're going to be hot and these things are going up check out the merch we got we got well we had hats but they're sold out we got hoodies we got polo shirts check it out we've also got non non uh clothing items like the backpack the backpack and get the mug the mug the mug so guys i just want to say god bless each and every single one of you go with god be with god be neighborly kiss your wife hug your kids tell them that you love them and you appreciate them and treat every day like it's your last because it could be your last guys so be neighborly please please i'm begging you be neighborly i'm working for you and guys woo this is daryl the riff flare of crypto coming to you from asia woo i'll see you in the next one guys in a couple hours all right let's get it woo.